Hey everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial and today we're going to learn a little bit more about typing on a path. Um, there's ways to modify how you type on a path and a bunch of other things so it'll probably take the whole tutorial so let's go ahead and get going. And Beans here says that typing on a path is great. And uh, Beans here, he's from an anime and um, it's Hunter, X Hunter. I'm not really sure if that's how you say it, but all right, let's get started. Let's go ahead and you can either use your arc tool or spiral tool. I'm gonna go ahead and use the spiral tool this time. I'm gonna make a, a stroke and just go ahead and draw my spiral. That's good. The spiral is kind of big, so I'm probably gonna have to end up typing a lot. All right, and I double clicked it by accident. I hate when I do that. Okay, so we've got our spiral here, and let's go ahead and grab our type on a path tool. And what you need to do is start on like the edge of your path here and click. And now you've got your cursor blinking, and we can start typing things. Oh, I went the wrong way. So I wanna, I wanna start here on this side of the path. All right, what's going on here? All right. So I guess the cursor wants me to start up here, but that's okay, we can always fix that kind of stuff. Okay, now we're getting all this stuff and I'm just gonna start typing out some words and um, let you know a little bit about the, the the tool as I'm doing that. I, hopefully I can do two things at once. Um, so when you use the type tool, you can add it um, you can add along the inner or the outer edge of the path and you can't put it on both however so just know that and I can't even do this um, all this typing and talking at the same time it's just too hard for me I don't know why but let's go on and um, take some observations of what's going on here so I click on here and you see that there's points here for the path so you're able to um, modify the path still. Um, our path is following the actual path here and when I clicked on here it actually went up up to the top. I'm not too sure why that happened but we can um, fix the positioning of what's going on here. I can also make this smaller and as you see when I make it smaller it makes the actual text smaller so it's good to do our uh, it's good to set out the size first and then start typing. And also notice that the the stroke is gone and this is like the same as the area text tool. So if you wanna have your stroke still be there, then you're gonna want to um, copy and paste. So I'll demonstrate that real quick. I just hit Control Z a couple times so I could get back to my object. So I've, here's my path and it's got a stroke on it, four points. So I'm gonna do is go to edit, copy, and then go to edit, paste in place and now I have two of them so this time when I go to type on the text let's just go like right here all right it brought it way over there eh, a little odd but um, it must be going in like reverse or something so go ahead and I'm gonna start typing and you can see now that the actual spiral still has the stroke because only the um, path on top got converted into a type object. Now when you're doing this, you don't want to press enter um, because all it does is stops you from typing. So I just hit enter, you can see my cursor is gone and I can't type anymore. So don't press enter until you're done. Let's keep going. And uh, it actually also created another set here. Um, when you press enter, it went to another line and you can see the little plus box. So don't be, don't push enter. It doesn't work well. All right, start typing again. All right. So now we've got some path with some type on it and let's get to more. We want to talk about how to move the type on a path. So you're going to want to pick up your selection tool and then we're going to go here and we're going to want to drag on the bracket. So here's a bracket here where my mouse is and you can see that the cursor changes over the bracket. Don't grab the square, grab the bracket. And using the bracket, we can move uh, the type to anywhere we want. 
especially the center one's the easiest. Um, if you go to the other side here like this, you can flip uh, flip it onto, uh, this, onto a section that you want. You can flip to the other side. And uh, let's see if there's anything else. Um, if you if you drag these here on the opposite sides, it'll just move it along the actual path, and pretty soon you'll end up being able to catch up to it. And now you're only able to type in between these two. So if I move this out farther, and then I move this out farther, it's gonna go back to where it was. Woohoo! Okay, so there we go. And as, as you can see, when I'm uh, moving the, the center one here, if I can grab onto it, the other ones move as well. Well, I can't grab onto it right now. I don't know why. But let's keep going to something more important. Um, we're going to learn how to modify the type on the path. So what we're going to do, make sure you have your selection tool selected again, and uh, click on the type. So let's make sure we have the type. Okay, we've got it. And you know that you have the type selected and not the uh, other path selected because you get the brackets and the squares going on here. Go to the type menu and then we're going to go to type on a path. And then we've got a couple different things here um, that are effects. So we got rainbow, skew, 3D ribbon, uh, stair step, and gravity. Let's try something. Here's stair step. As you can see, it's going, um, has like, when it's going up and down, it's going into a like a stepping kind of motion. And I mean, here's 3D ribbon. So you want to um, go ahead and on your own time, check out these different effects and see what they do. So we want to click on type on a path options next, however. And you can also put your different um, effects on right here. So if you click on preview, we're going to be able to check out the effects a lot quicker. And now you can see what all the quick, all the, uh, all the options did really quick. If you just want a regular, just click, keep it on rainbow. If you hit flip, it's going to flip it to the other side. But your um, cursor, your actual uh, bracket here is going to go somewhere else. It depends on what your shape is. So basically, it just flipped the entire thing. And then we've got our different align to paths. And um, you can select the different alignments. Go ahead and check out what you want. So here's the different things. Center is right on it. Baseline is right on the lot on top of the line. And then ascender is going to be like definitely below the line. And descender is going to be definitely above the line. So here's our spacing. Go ahead and change your spacing if you want to. Wow, didn't want to do that. All right, let's go back to something a little bit more normal. There we go. There's 12 point spacing. If I go to 36, you can see it's a different spacing. If I go to negative 36, you can see it's open a little bit more. So that's how that works. I'm, I'm just going to hit cancel. And I've got uh, my path here. And that's all I wanted to go over for the paths. Um, remember that if you want to keep your uh, stroke or shape or whatever on the path, you're going to have to copy and paste it. Um, what else did we go over? You don't want to press enter when you're typing on a path because it's just going to create overflow and it's not good. And then remember to click on these brackets and drag if you want to move your text around. And and just remember that the type tool options are up here when you have the with the type selected and they're in the type menu. So if you ever want to check uh, fix anything or check out the different types of fonts that you want without having to click on each font and everything, remember that the fonts are also up here and it's easy to do. So that's it for this tutorial. Looks like I uh, uh, went pretty long on this one, but thanks a lot for watching everybody. And it's been uh, uh, great teaching everybody so far. It's awesome. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.